If you've just come over from the craft room tour, you'll know that we're about to go into this, now that it's Wednesday, we're about to go into this book. This is my stamp and die catalog. Essentially, this book is created, um, I got the ideas from Totally Tiffany, and um, I'll put the link below to all of her stuff. She's got a great Facebook page, which I have found immensely useful for all sorts of crafting things. And essentially, the, the stamp catalog allows me to have a flick through, and I'll know, I know exactly what I've got for stamps before, without even having to dig through my stamps, which is life-changing. So, let's have a look. What I have is a stamp catalog overview. Now, different people do this differently, just depends on how you want to organize your stamps, but my first one is an overview. Every single stamp gets stamped into the overview. It shows me several things. First of all, it shows me what I've got overall for stamps. If I can't find, you know, if I need some inspiration, I can go to the overview and just have a quick look. It also tells me how well the stamp makes an impression, which is going to make me decide. It, it means that I know that it's capable of doing a really clear impression, or perhaps the impression isn't quite as good as I, you know, maybe the stamp is aging and it's not quite as good as I'd like it to be. It helps me to make decisions with um, all of my, my artwork. So I'm going to flip through it. The overview includes all of my stamp sets as well. I've just drawn a line to separate them. The pink dots with the letters in them indicate where to find the stamp. So for example, I come here, I go, oh, I'd like a teapot stamp. Oh, shoot, where did I store that? Oh, okay, S17. Well, I know that S stands for stamp sets and 17 is the number of the stamp set, which I got in order because I used to work in a library and I love order, so, and it just makes sense. So I go to S17, which I know all of my stamp sets are in here. I open the drawer. I have a quick look along the spine of the box, and there it is, S17. And there you go. All of the stamps for this set are stored in, oh boy, and I obviously didn't clean them very well, <laughs> are stored in S17. So like the movie store or like your library, when you're finished with it, you go, okay, S17, just go back to the stamp set drawer, pop them in, and there we go. Back in order so they're easy to find next time. So. Then, after I did the overview, I broke it down by type. So Stampin' Up, for example, sometimes I want to do a Stampin' Up only uh, video or I want to do a project with Stampin' Up stamps because I know I love the quality of them. There we go. Uh, that's all my Stampin' Up stamps. I know that a lot of them sort of work interchangeably in the sets, so I can look at all of the individual and all of the sets as well and know what I have and um, go forward from there. I also have a section for Kazaz. Now I, I only have a couple of sets, it's only one page, but I know that I love the Kazaz um, products, so I, I will be adding to this section, which is why I made it. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but see how it has, see how it has like a little black line around it? This is very interesting because it means that these are pretty squishy, clear stamps, and I need to be, I'll know that when I look at this, I need to be careful when stamping not pressed too hard on these stamps because I'll end up with a black ring around it when I'm actually making my product, my um, finished product. So that's super helpful because it's going to save me from ruining, uh, potentially ruining cardstock. And the same kind of thing here. It's got a little around the side, so don't press too hard or practice on another sheet before I go to do it as a final thing. So these, this catalog is helpful on so many levels. Uh, let's see, so other name brands, Disney, that sort of thing. Then I've got Christmas. And I discovered when doing this, I have a lot more Christmas stamps than I thought I did. And it must be because they go on clearance or something and I'm like, oh, I'll just pick that up because it's 50% off. And I just 
have accumulated a lot of Christmas stamps. Now this has been very helpful because I went to do a Happy Spring card and I found that when I went into, so I've got Valentine, and I put all of my hearts in Valentine, birthday, anything that says happy birthday. And then other, when I went into my other section, which is all the other holidays and that sort of thing, I didn't have, I had happy Easter, but I didn't have anything that said happy spring. So now I know that the next time I go shopping, if I see a happy spring card or happy spring stamp, I can buy it because I don't have one already. It helps with duplicates. It's just been life changing. So thank you stamps. I have, I have a few thank you stamps. So again, not, not nearly as many as I thought I did, uh, but there's a few. Flora. So for me, I the topics that you pick have to do with things that you have a lot of. So in my case, I picked Flora because I have a lot of different flowers and a lot of different types of flowers. I love like nature stamps and that sort of thing. I love making paper flowers and that sort of thing. So it only made sense that I have a lot of um, trees and flowers and, and whatever. So I also did fauna instead of animals just because I, I like flora and fauna. I think it's cute. But you could you could write animals if you want to. If you have a lot of penguin stamps you could do a penguin section. Um, it works great for People who've got a little and people who've got a lot, which again is the Tiffany thing that, um, you know, she'll tell you more about in her videos. So definitely check those out. Now here, I've got these two little animals, right? S4. Now, it doesn't have anything else, but what I decided is that the sets that have, like part of the set appeals to the catalog, what I'll do is just put the part of the set that makes sense for the, the category and um, not the, all the other uh, stamps. Now you could do it differently if you want to, but uh, this one I know also has little messages that can go in it in that stamp set. So if I think they're cute, I can go there and then see what else is involved. So if, you know, it's up to you what you think makes the most sense. Birds. Okay, so then I've got nautical. And I had a lot of nautical stuff. I'm very surprised by that. Shapes. Now, I don't know if you've watched the, um, if you watched my uh, updated craft room tour on Monday, but you'll notice that a lot of these themes are matching things that I've got in other parts of my uh, craft room. So, for example, I've got holidays. I've got um, domestic. I've got nature. And those topics and shapes is another one. Those topics and the same thing with uh, my four section system, those topics mirror each other so that if I'm doing something, say, for, with a nautical theme, I can go to each type of thing and pull them out so easily because it's they've got matching topics. So background stamps which are some of my favorite. I love background stamps. Just got a few more to add to the catalog. And domestic. As I said, I have domestic paper. I've got domestic um, embellishments. Here, I'll even show it to you. Down here on the bottom, domestic embellishments that just work for that particular category for me. And then you can tie them all together. Alphabets, same kind of thing. Holidays, as I mentioned with the paper. Holidays for me is vacations. That's what we that's what they call them in Australia. So that's what I have used to term as a term for them. So different things that you do on vacation. And sentiments. And for me, sentiments is key because I use a lot of sentiment stamps. In other words, things with words on them. So happy holidays, happy Christmas, um, congratulations on your baby, Merry Christmas, that sort of thing. Congratulations. And date stamps for the Smashbook and Project Life and that sort of thing. So, I may have said at the very beginning of this, this, this is stamps and dies, but it's actually the stamp catalog. All of the stamps go in the same one. The dies are in the color catalog. So, 
if you are interested in my color catalog and what's inside it come and come back and see it on Friday or if you're watching it in the future go ahead and click through at the end of this video and I'll go on to the color catalog have a great day guys and we'll talk to you soon see ya